What's up, guys? Mystic Fire here to bring you Black Clover Chapter 169. I'm sorry I'm late. Twitter got all the info on that as to why I'm late. Although, I didn't really keep updating them as to how long it was going to be. But yeah, you know, just go follow me on Twitter there to be informed when the video doesn't go up, why the reasoning and whatnot. Uh, I'm also do the episode 46 review today right after this, as well as maybe this Saturday I might take care of Orient, you know, just a full video on just Orient, a full review on it. Uh, on the chapters of Amazing. I have the chapter right here in my hand. I'm not doing a live, re a live reaction because I already read the chapter when it came out. I'm just going to do the video. Anyways, um, let's just go along with this review. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Sub subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a like or dislike. It's up to you. you know, let me know some below what you think about the the chapter as a whole. You know, Let me know what, what's coming ne uh, this Friday, basically. Uh, two days from now in the chapter 170, let me know. But anyways, let's begin with the chapter. Um, so the, the opening page of the chapter is basically, uh, you know, Jamie and Charlie are already, you know, they're already uh, in a quarrel. Um, they are nobles, I, I say, or people. Um, I mean, they, they don't look that, they don't look like commoners, but because they're in the capital. So I would say nobles or people of high stature, you know, they're looking upon, and there's, and they sense that, it's a lot, that there's a lot of magic clashing. And so they're like, it's not coming here to the capital, is it? And it comes to the capital. Yami versus Charlie comes to the capital. Yami is still protecting Julius, by the way. And Yami says, everyone get the fuck out of here. I'll kill you myself if you stay here. You know, very, very Yami-like. Uh, anyways, let's continue on. Um... You know, and then Yami says, that's matter if the city gets destroyed. As long as people live, uh, the Clover Kingdom will never really get destroyed or anything like that. So it's basically saying the people makes the kingdom, not the kingdom makes the people. Um, or I think that's how it goes. I'm not sure. Uh, see, like, okay, so here. This, this this is very interesting. The Son of the Roses is covering the ascent of Charlie. Or as Yami Corle, the Sun Sun Mag... Uh, yeah, Sunsun's magic, basically. I don't I mean, eh. But it's not her, it's just a copycat. So, so, he, so he thinks, basically, he's, he, basically the elves is copying Charles's magic. Uh, you know, they, they, the author needs to explain how come these elves or these recognition elves can still use the same magic as the people in the other one too. Because, I uh, know, Patrick's a different case. He has his own grimoire and everything, so... We also see the people going flying on a carpet and every uh is that a carpet or a broom? Yeah, we see people flying on a broom and a carpet. What? They have carpets in here. This it this suddenly out in right now. <laughs> okay, so nothing really big happens. Just Jamie launches a slash attack, uh, where Charlotte is hidden out where basically or where basically the elf Charlotte is hitting out in in the briar along with the roses covering her scent um and human with the intuition see so this is the thing like a lot of all the elves don't really think so little of the humans um especially when it comes to the clover they think so little of the humans and when they see somebody that has good intuition and all that can keep up with them when when it comes to speed or magic or anything they they they, they really get taken aback um so that's the case that's been the case with asta and yami so far Okay, so Charlie launches him for an attack. Uh, Yami dodges it. Good, you know. The, Yami dodges everything. All the briars coming out and everything. Yami's... Uh, okay, so so here here's the interesting bit. Yami says that she moves like Charlie, but her taxes are very different. The roses are, are adding to her already solid mid-range attacks with her close-range attacks. And the smell interfering with my senses. So it's basically like... Uh, the elves are a better version of the human, basically. I mean, and it's obvious that it is like that, but, you know, he, now Yami is the one explaining all of this. Landing a hit is next to impossible. I can knock her out safely. Okay, so th this is more interesting about her curse and whatnot. Like, we really, we, we really didn't get to know much about her curse as to how it was or anything. But here it is. I heard she got a curse that made her roses stay blue when she was a kid. The curse is gone supposedly, but seems like, like he had lasting effects. 
her roses stayed blue. So basically, that was the whole curse thing. Uh, so the, her roses were just blue. Uh, now, it's important to know, though, like, when the chapter first came out on Friday, last Friday, uh, Yamini's box translation was different than manga stream translation. Uh, this is the one Jamin Box had, and then Manga Stream had a different one that the heroes were small. So, but they fixed it. It's all good now. See, but, but with how she's an elf on the inside, could the lingering effects have been lifted since she's not, not human anymore? Right? So, this is Charlie Rosselli's original Maj, original ma bro Maj, but sheer force of who despite your curse, she became a stronger woman. And you're letting other women improve your magic for you, huh? Queen Sunson. So he's basically asking to Charlie. He's trying to reason with Charlie, basically. Saying, so you became a strong woman by yourself. And now you're letting some other woman make you even more stronger. And then we see Soul. Uh, in this in this chapter, so you know, aside from just Yami and Charlie fighting, we got to learn more about Soul, you know, and as to how and as to why she's the way she is. We learned we learned that Soul was rescued by Charlie. She was being attacked by three by I think it was three or four guys. We also learned that Charlie attacked her attacked them. Once she awoke, she she attacked them because we see Soul. She is caught. Uh, we also see, you know, we, we get a small flashback uh, in um, in Soul's mind or how it happened. You know, Charlie attacking all of them, uh, big sis. And then we learn, I have a younger brother, not a younger sister. Now, this is now, this is where speculations are happening, where people say that Log Elf was uh, Charlie's uh, younger brother, but now he's not, he doesn't ex He's not working anymore because Asta freed him. So we just got to wait and see what happens when she finds out that her brother is no longer in the world like she is. Uh, okay, so we see that Soul is questioning Charlie, the same big sis. He said, basically says she doesn't have a sister. She has a younger brother. Um, and then, you know, Yami, and then Yami says, don't worry. She's being played by some kind of magic. I'll be fighting her. So the comes of the Black Bulls and Soul doesn't want to let that be the case it's important to know though the yami puts uh the um i, I, for, I forgot the defensive spell the yami uses that julius is in and he gives it to soul's golem in there and but then uh soul doesn't want to take orders from yami and she just goes in it's we um uh, it's good to know that soul learned uh mana skin you know to protect itself from all the from the strong magic in the regions and in this one, she can't really do anything. It seems like she's, she's, you know, she's not really thinking at all. So she can't attack because Charlotte's magic, it's so strong that her uh, earth magic is being nothing. Um, it's doing nothing. It's not even forming. It's dissipating around Charlotte and whatnot. Uh, it's, Yami says, though, when the heroes here listen to what he says, right? This isn't the time to be saying that, dark woman. Now, in this, uh, I think Yami's saying in this that you're, um, uh, that, you know, yes, she's a dark woman, but he's also saying that she's been stupid right now. I think that, I think that's what it means. I'm, I'm not so sure. Uh, and then Sol goes in, you know, with her fen fen feminist, I have nothing against feminist, you know, be before you start bashing me and whatnot, with her feminist thinking, and she's, she's the one that's going to bring Charlotte back and everything, and then Yami says, tells her, you know, we we have a small flashback here of Sol being protected by Charlotte, and Sol had, you know, Sol had long, long hair, she was, Charlotte protected her from a lot of guys, uh, she was, I think she was being beat up by those guys. I'm not sure what it was. Uh, and she, yeah, so she can't really fight. The magic around Big Sis is so thick, I can't use my magic in here. And the Blue Bulls captain was fighting in this. So, you know, it's good to know here that she can't really fight. Uh, alive, I have to. And then Yami says, shop your trap. It's my duty right now to protect you and keep you alive. You gotta live for her sake. Get that in your head, dumbass. I know this is more like a live reaction or like more of a read-through, but I, it's not really a live reaction because I already read the chapter, like I said. Um, 
No one's allowed near Big Sis, especially the man. Please say Big Sis. No, the Blue Rose Captain. See, so this is this is character development here for Soul uh, in, in a in a fighting chapter, especially being Yami versus Charlie. And this is what good about Black Clover. Black Clover basically gives some gives us more tips of development to some characters in different arcs, you know, and then keeps developing on and on. So here, Soul learns learns you know learns that you know. That even though she she doesn't like men, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad to ask for help from one of them, you know, especially someone reliable. Uh, and Yami here is being that person basically. Uh, so she she learned that. Okay, and then Yami uses black hole to stop an attack because Earth Shadow was gonna was gonna attack. Uh, so you gonna basically kill her. And Yami was there. He he came in, grabbed that dude did that dark hole and everything and then they're gonna do, unleash their finals okay so you made your underling cry doing whatever the hell you want to others you were never that low of a woman charlotte and here you know there's a reaction here from elf charlotte or charlotte herself i'm not sure if she's really fighting inside of her we see a reaction it's not we don't we don't really get to see like her reaction reaction we just get to see like a small panel of how you know uh, her like mouth and whatnot so and then and then they unleash their strongest move basically and uh elf charlie admits that yami is strong in that sense you know i an elf admitting that, that a human is strong so it's basically different from what the elves were seeing that like oh kill the humans 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 you know so some of the elves have a, have a lot more character than others um right okay what crazy magic if if i get hit by that everyone behind me is gonna get wiped out and die even black hole won't be able to suck that much see so even black even yami's black hole has a lot of uh it's not strong enough for a lot of strong magic or a lot of strong attacks that means that there's room for improvement there All right, so and yeah, and Yami is gonna go all out too. I like the panel, the panel of Yami. Oof, it's amazing. I use everything I've got to get you back without killing you. See, so Yami doesn't wanna kill anybody. He doesn't wanna kill her. Briar magic, dark magic, dark dark clothes dimension slash elegant scarlet threaded battle spear, and they both clash. Yami cuts through the spear. Uh, and goes to Charlotte. We don't now. We don't know yet if Charlotte was actually hit by it, but we we see that her roses are bigger than. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, at least some of the leaves are a lot big, are big, like really big. So her curse is gone in that sense. Uh, so the final panel that we get is Ch if Charlotte might getting hit by Yami's dark. Uh, uh, the mission slash, but you know we have to wait and see next week for that to find out. But yeah, it was an amazing chapter overall. Um, you know, Saul got some kind of development. We learn, we got to learn a bit more about uh, Charles. I guess Elf Charlie because you know we learned that she has a, a younger brother. And and another speculation was the um, Lux Elf or Rufus or Rufus or whatever it is was her younger brother because in the flashbacks we see that they're together. And then Elf Gotch is also there. So maybe maybe Gotch is, is also her older brother or or maybe Gotch is the brother instead of Rufu, who knows? Or maybe Gotch it was her was her boyfriend, something like that. So you just gotta wait and see. Uh but yeah, that that was the end. 14 pages. Oof, I gotta say, uh the art the art has gotten better. Like the art when Tawata, you know, Tawata has done less pages, but the art has gotten so much more better. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Subscribe to the channel for more content on Black Clover. I'm going to do the review on episode 46. And oh my God, I got to say, you got an awakening. You got an awakening. That's going to be the whole episode 46 thing. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching my content. Subscribe to the channel for more content on Black Clover and other mangas and, uh, you know, and other news regarding anime and whatnot. Uh, leave a like or dislike is up to you. Let me know in the comments down below what you think happened in the final panel of the manga. Let me know what you th what you thought about this last week's chapter 169. Uh, the chapter was the Captain of the Black Bulls versus the Deep Crimson Rose. That was the chapter. 
Uh, so yeah, thanks for coming content. I want to wish you guys more time and peace.